Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are about to make an unexpected trip to go visit my Nana, which we are super excited about. She called me two days ago, or no, she called me yesterday and said that she has a couple days with no plans and that she would love for us to come down. So of course I was like, yes, we would love to. So I have been scrambling all yesterday to try to get ahead on my work and like get everything ready to go so I could leave today. Plus we have our big Virginia trip coming up next week. So just a lot of planning on my part just for like YouTube and stuff. So I was super busy yesterday and now we are running a bit behind. It's already 925, I have to pack my bags. The kids have already picked out their outfits. I just have to pick out Ethan's outfit my stuff get it packed up so we can get on the road but before we can leave i actually have to run to the post office because one of our packages i guess the mailman picked it back up and brought it to the post office because it sat in the box too long which i have been so bad this summer on checking my mail i just keep forgetting so first we're going to run to the post office so they don't send that back grab our box then we will be ready to head out and go to my nana's it is a roughly i believe like two hours and 45 minutes or so drive for us so i have to make sure the kids are prepared ready for the road trip get them some snacks ipads all that good stuff so thought i would just take you guys along my day for our road trip and hopefully you'll get some clips from our trip at my nana's house but before we get too far into this video i did want to let you know it is in collab with one of my friends here on youtube her name is krista and i recently found her youtube channel i have really been loving getting to know her more we have so much in common i think you guys will really love her channel and her she is super sweet so i'm gonna let her introduce herself really quick to you hey guys. guys my name is krista i am a stay-at-home mom from central california i have three kids i have a 10 year old son a three-year-old little girl and also a five almost six month old baby boy on my channel you're gonna find lots and lots of day in the life vlogs I share everything from motherhood I like to keep it really real and authentic on my channel the whole reason I started my YouTube channel was to really just add a little bit more of real life and relatability back into the mom space here on YouTube so I hope that is what you get when you watch my channel besides motherhood we recently bought a home and me and my husband have been DIYing all of our home projects all on our own save lots of money we are actually doing our patio currently which is super exciting and if you do decide to check my channel out I am so grateful for you make sure you say hi in the comments don't be shy I love talking to you guys and I hope to see you guys very soon make sure after you get done watching my video you head down to my description I'll have Krista's link to her video and her channel down there give her some love let her know that Ashley sent you I know you guys will absolutely love her content but let's go ahead and quickly get my stuff packed Adrian is quickly brushing her hair. Austin got himself dressed. So now to get my life together. So I thought I would take a moment to introduce myself in case you did come over from Krista's channel. First, I wanna say thank you so much for clicking on my video and being here. It truly means so much to me. But just a little bit about myself, I am a mom to four kids. I have been married to my high school sweetheart since 2008 and we've been together since 2006. So it's been 16 years. I still can't believe it's been that long. Time sure does fly when you have kids. We do live in West Texas and we are originally from Virginia. And on my channel, I share tons of just relatable everyday mom life vlogs, shop with me's, recipes, fitness, and of course, a little bit of cleaning motivation. So if you like content like that, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button, join my YouTube family. I would love to have you here and I love chatting with you guys. So feel free to leave me a comment. I get back to every single one of them and it's my favorite thing about YouTube so make sure you leave me a comment so I can get to know you as well. All right, I think we got almost everything. We got the pack and play, bags, blankets, here's mine and Ethan stuff. Yeah, we're bringing the slip and slide with us. Um, I'm trying to think if that's everything. Ethan's got his shoes. Got the car loaded up, finally ready to go. It is 10 o'clock. So first stop is going to be Post 
post office and then I think we're just gonna leave from the post office and head out. I don't think whatever the package is, is like, you know, where I have to bring it back home. I think it's just some clothes that my husband ordered, so we'll just take that with us. So we're gonna head to the post office and then head out. I have not ate anything, so I did grab some snacks. I got my Magic Mind. I got a, whoops, a pepper jack cheese stick and I also grabbed a Slim Jim and my um, lean body protein shake. <laughs> I was like, let me just grab some quick stuff that I can eat in the car on the way and then we're gonna stop probably uh, before we get there to get some lunch for the kids because they did eat breakfast but I haven't eaten. So I figure I'll just snack on this until we pick up some lunch. So but we are now all ready for our road trip. You go now, will you call me back? Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. Oh, the traveling kind, it's a known fact. Yeah, I know that. Mm. Once you see So the only thing we have come across so far is a gas station. So we're gonna go in here and get some snacks because the kids, of course, are complaining that they're hungry. So we're gonna get some snacks and then do bathroom breaks, of course, and then get back on the road. It's 11.22, I think we have like a little over an hour and something left, so getting close. Hey, go, go, go. Come on, calm oh, down. there's a bee on you, Austin. Oh my God, uh -oh. there's like a bee. B, watch out. Yeah, it's on Austin. Watch out, watch oh. out, watch out, watch out. I don't want it in the car. Uh, it's in the car. Hold on. Jax made it to Nana's house. Yay! Yeah. About to get out of the car. <laughs> Yay, you excited? Yay. We are getting ready to head to the lake. The kids want to swim really bad. So we're getting our bathing suits on and then we're gonna head up there to go swim just for a little bit because it's like super hot. The high today is 106, so. Say hi. What? Where is the sea crab? Sea crabs? Sea crabs. <laughs> you know those crabs that are like not crabs? Like your new vacuum? Yeah. Yeah. My my old vacuum works good. Works yeah, this one works good. Yeah. Bless you. Thank you. He said his other vacuum <laughs> worked good too. Oh yeah. Um, remember that green one? Cool. Yeah. Didn't it, it just picked up little coins. Yeah. That was cute. That was though. cute. Those are the iron ones. And then we also went yesterday. It was 107 and 109 both days, like so hot. So we couldn't like go to the park or anything because it was just miserably hot. So we went to the lake, went swimming. I was so shocked. Ethan, I don't know if I told you guys, but whenever we went to the, um, the castle little 
uh, weekend vacation. I vlogged it. Whenever we went there, I was holding Ethan and my husband like pushed me into the pool while I was holding Ethan and it like scared the crap out of him where he hasn't really been wanting to go in like deep water. So of course when we first got to the lake, he was just kind of sitting on the edge playing in the sand like with his butt in the water. And then he all of a sudden just like got brave and started swimming everywhere. Like to the point where he didn't want me to hold him. He was like pushing me off of him. Like he wanted to do it himself. I was so shocked that he was just so adventurous after that. So he had a blast. All the kids did. Yeah. They, yeah, you did so good. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, so they had so much fun and we just kind of hung out. We ended up going to Walmart last night to get um, just like some pizza and just a few things from the store. And we just kind of hung out the rest of the time. It was really nice to catch up with my Nana. We don't get to go as often as we would like. And with our trip to Virginia coming up and then as soon as we come back from Virginia, my Nana is going to Virginia to go visit them. So we knew if we didn't get to see each other now, we probably wouldn't be able to do it for a while. So it worked out really good that I was able to go for a couple days. So I'm glad we got to see her and catch up. We always stay up really late, like talking and drinking and it's just really nice. So I'm glad we got to do that. But now I gotta get home. It is 1.11 and we have an eye appointment at 4 o'clock for me and then we have an eye appointment for Aubrey at 5 o'clock. So we have to get back in time. I'll roughly have like 30 minutes to offload all my stuff into the house and then probably leave um, maybe Austin and Ethan at home depending on how Ethan feels about that. But you know, maybe leave them with my husband go to our eye appointments, get that done because we need to get some glasses. I'm almost positive I need glasses. I've just noticed that like when I try to pull up the menu on the TV and stuff, I'm just noticing like it's really blurry and I'm having to squint really hard and driving at nighttime just isn't the same. So I, I know it's time for me to get some glasses. So I'm gonna go, Aubrey's due for her like um, exam and she really wants to get contacts. So I think we're gonna be getting her contacts. I was talking to my friend Becca and she orders hers from, I think it's called like contacts, contacts.com or I don't know, I have to ask her again, but she orders hers and she says, you get the best deals going online. So I'm just gonna order online for her because the last time we looked into it, it was like insanely expensive. It was like $250 a month. And I was like, I'm not paying that. That's like a car payment, that's crazy. So I was like, no, we'll just wait on contacts, but we're gonna try this contacts.com or whatever it was and order through them so she can have that. And then I'm still gonna get her a pair of glasses too just to have, you know, for whenever she doesn't want to wear contacts. But yeah, that's on the agenda. So we're gonna rush home, do that, and then I'm sure I will be doing some cleaning, definitely laundry, all of that good stuff. So I will pick up the camera again once we get back home. prescription the main thing um, they said I need glasses for is my stigmatism which is the same with Aubrey Aubrey has a really bad stigmatism and um, so do I which they said if I wore my glasses at nighttime it would help me a lot so I'm probably just gonna wear them at night because I mean my actual vision isn't that bad it's just my stigmatism so that's good to know but um, I'm gonna actually just like order the glasses another time because the doctor couldn't even sign our prescription yet it was weird this was the first time where we went in there was someone there but it wasn't the actual doctor it was like a teledoctor which is so weird to me I didn't even know you could do an appointment like that the machine that like they put the reader thing on your head the doctor threw 
the TV was controlling it. It, sh it was just so weird. I've never had anything like that. I'm like, yeah, it is we're in though. the we're in the 2020s now. <laughs> it's Definitely. so weird. Um, so I guess we just have to wait for them to sign it. She said she'll just email me the prescription. That'll be good, and hopefully we can get those ordered pretty soon. Hopefully that won't take too long to get, but I am glad we finally got that done. I have been meaning for us to go for quite some time, but it's already 535, so we're actually gonna go to Wendy's, pick up some Wendy's, and then once I get home, I have to unpack all our stuff, get the laundry going, and probably just like tidy up uh, the kitchen, because the kitchen was kind of messy, so. We're gonna do all that after I get home, but first we need to eat, and I have a headache. Both me and Aubrey have a headache. Oh I guess, God. yeah, because they had like bright lights in our eye while they were like taking pictures, and I don't know, it made my head hurt. So I need food and probably some Advil <laughs> for my <laughs> headache now. We're gonna record you. Yep, I'm trying the new strawberry summer salad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're showing that part in there. Oh, oh wait, oh, no. <laughs> I knew when you came through the door that you are the love of my life. Good morning guys. It's the next day. We ended up just relaxing after we came back from the eye doctor. But now it's time for me to get started on all of our laundry, cleaning up the kitchen. We have quite the mess. We did have Wendy's as you guys saw, which was really good. I had their summer salad for the first time and I really loved it. It had like strawberries on it and stuff. They were actually out of my Caesar salad, which was the only reason why they like told me about it. It wasn't even on their menu, so I didn't think they had it, but when she read off the salads, they did have the summer one, so I tried it out because you guys recommended it. It was so good, I loved it, but now we need to go ahead and get busy. I have to do a bunch of cleaning, get that done, and then I need to start editing this video so I can get it up for you guys for tomorrow, so I need to get busy. Oh, 
kitchen is nice and clean. Aubrey is begging for me to make her some French toast for breakfast, so I'm gonna go ahead and make her some. Austin hasn't ate yet either, so I'm gonna see if he wants me to make him some. What? You just had waffles. One, you already have okay. waffles. So I'm gonna quickly make some French toast. Austin, do you want some French toast? Or you can, yeah. You want French toast? Yeah, how many do you want? Two, two or three? Two. Three? Two okay. Waffles. You already have waffles. No, I want some more. You better eat it all. So for my French toast, I keep it really simple. I just do eggs. A dash of milk I'm gonna be doing just a dash of almond milk and then I add just a little bit of vanilla and cinnamon that's usually what I put in mine I'd love to know what do you guys use to make your French toast How's that French toast, y'all? Good? <laughs> Working on the next batch. Oh, I need a new light bulb in here. That thing is so dull. <laughs> you can barely see it's dark. Y'all reading the potty book? Yeah. 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 Oh. I did it. I did it. I <laughs> so I have been looking for the Coco Melon potty chair for quite some time. I went to our Walmart because they said it was in stock, but they had one left and the box was like all busted. So I was super excited to see when I went to my Nana's house at their Walmart, they had the Coco Melon potty. So we picked up this cute little Coco Melon potty. We had the regular like potty seat, but he's scared to sit on the toilet, I guess, cause it's up so high, he gets nervous. So this one is super cute and it plays music. So cute. So as soon as we got home yesterday, we decided to put it together and he was so excited. He actually sat on the potty and went pee for the first time yesterday. We were so happy for him. We gave him like a lollipop. We have a huge bag of dum-dums and that's gonna be like his reward for using the potty. So yesterday he went one time and then just now he just pooped in the potty, like just a little bit, but we were of course like super excited, rewarded him and everything. So I'm really happy that he's starting to want to use the potty. Hopefully this is the start of him becoming potty trained. But I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog right here. I'm actually gonna go up to the nail salon here in just a little bit when I wait, when I lay Ethan down because I had a nail um, pop off at my Nana's house. So I'm gonna go get them done. I'll put a picture up on the screen right here of the inspo. I'm really hoping they can do it because I love sunflowers. 
and I think it would be super cute. So I'm gonna go do that here in a little bit, but I've got to get this video edited, especially since it is a collab with my friend Krista. So make sure you guys check out her channel. Like I said, it will be linked hi. in my description. Say hi. Oh, you're so sweet. I love you more. I love you more. You're I so sweet. You. Whoa, are you okay? <laughs> he just fell off the bed, gave me a heart attack. Are you okay? Okay, my baby. <laughs> but I think what I was saying was don't forget to check out my friend Krista's channel. I know you guys would love her and her content too. So make sure you let her know that Ashley sent you over there. But I'm going to go ahead, get this video edited so I can have it ready for you guys tomorrow. And I will definitely be sure to share my new nails with you guys in my next vlog. The next vlog coming out should be a pack with me for Virginia. So I am super excited. Got to get the house ready. Got to drop Yoda off at the dog sitter pack all that good stuff so be on the lookout for that video but if you guys enjoyed today's vlog don't forget to give it a thumbs up it really does help support my channel and help me grow and i truly appreciate it and if you are new here i would love for you to subscribe join my youtube family i do upload every single monday and friday tons of motherhood content and i would love to have you here but i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i can't wait to see you in the next one bye <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.